Hey y'all, it is May the 26th, 26th, 27th, I believe, it's a Sunday, and earlier today, we had a bit of a live stream, and it was kind of random, and a little bit all over the place, a little bit, um, we're going to try and fine tune that and get that together, especially considering the types of things that we're talking about today all right reaching all new lengths i mean uh just overwhelming proportions just like all over the top and in our face with it as far as what you might refer to as the tribulation what you might refer to as civil wars a brewing all over it turns out globally and there's civil wars a brewing for many different various reasons all right, and in regards to that, I felt that we should make a brief video uh, talking about one of them, one of them that came up during the broadcast earlier, and that is Tommy Robinson. Now, this stuff is really, I mean, there's a lot of crucial things going on in the world right now, because it's just epically crucial, but this Tommy Robinson deal, this is one of those deals where there's certain people who they just done too much ultimately. And in that regard, uh, you, they're untouchable. One of those the people I, I have to suggest might be Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson, he, he has done too much. People love him too much. The people who follow and support Tommy Robinson, uh, they, they've seen him do too much. He, he's larger than life, if you will, amongst the people who like and endorse Tommy Robinson. There's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of people who hate his guts, right? For many different various reasons, Tommy Robinson has made something of a reputation for himself. Now, over a decade, a lot of people already understand Tommy Robinson has been speaking out against basically just rape. I mean, basically rape in and all over his country. All right? And it has a lot to do seemingly from his experience on... Um, the ground floor of the whole situation has a lot to do with this certain sort of immigrants that's coming into his country, all right, kind of allowing for it, kind of facilitating uh, this kind of a culture in and around where Tommy Robinson has lived his whole life, all right? So he's been speaking out against the rapes quite, um, quite consistently. He's going, he's been going very, very hard with it, all right? People... The people who know Tommy Robinson know him uh, to basically be a legend at this point. All right, so Tommy Robinson uh, has, against all odds, done what Tommy Robinson has done already uh, previously in his career. All right, against all odds, you got to understand, Tommy Robinson has been uh, threatened extensively, dude. I don't, I don't know if anybody in the world has been threatened so much or more than Tommy Robinson. His life. His family's life, God bless his wife and stuff for for doing, I mean, just God bless her for being there, being able to stick that stick that out, because it's been a tough road for Tommy Robinson, all right? There's been many instances that have been very, very trying for Tommy Robinson as he continues to speak against rape and those who might condone rape all over his country, all right, and all sort of other criminality. Uh, so Tommy Robinson... He's been rubbing certain people the wrong way, obviously. Now, we might guess to as who these people are. You might say it's a people of a certain religion has been rubbing them the wrong way. You might say, oh, man, it's people in his government passing all sorts of laws and stuff like this, and he's rubbing them the wrong way. I think Tommy Robinson is rubbing a lot of people the wrong way, all right? And so, therefore, he got snatched up, all right? We're about to watch a video clip. It's going to be very important. All right, so we're about to watch this video clip of Tommy Robinson getting arrested. I only seen it maybe 10 minutes ago for the first time of Tommy Robinson getting arrested. Now, we don't know all the details. We do know that it is some old BS. It has to be. And people have been protesting it already. All right, there's been many uh, articles written about that. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about that real quick, and then we're going to see a video clip of Tommy Robinson getting arrested and why he's getting arrested. And we're going to analyze it, all right? We're going to really get down to the nitty-gritty what's going on right here. Uh, the last time that Tommy Robinson has been seen, we're going to 
take a look at that real quick. First of all, we're going to run through the articles, just the headlines. You got the Independent saying Tommy Robinson protest hundreds demonstrate on Downing Street after far, what probably says far right extremist or whatever. People call him far right and right wing and stuff like that. It's technically he's just a person who got arrested. <laughs> But they're calling far right as though it means some stuff. Fox News says right wing activist Tommy Robinson reportedly jailed after filming outside. A uh, child, what I would assume says child grooming ring, pedophilia ring. I'm sure that is what it says because that is indeed what he was reporting um, on at the time of being arrested. The mayor says hundreds of Tommy Robinson supporters hold down protests at, uh, at Downing Street. The Metro says Tommy Robinson supporter empties a can of Stella on top of uh, Downing Street gates. Now, I want to stop here real quick uh, at the Metro. The Metro doesn't seem to have no shame. I want to talk about them real quick. See, the thing is, there's an arrest that's been had. All right? A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people think it's very, very bogus, the arrest of uh, Tommy Robinson. That has taken place. And there's been sort of a large, uh, very robust protest that has taken place. The Metro wants to talk about not only a person uh, getting to the top of the gate, but also emptying a can of Stella. Like, if that even matters, it's like, why in the world would we need to know what kind of beer it was? Who cares? We're talking about pedophilia rings, and you're talking about someone climbing to the top of the gate and, and pouring a beer down, and what kind of beer it was, dude. Are you, are, you, are you freaking kidding me? But the thing is, like I said, the Metro has no shame. There's certain publications that simply have no shame. The Sun says, moment English Defense League founder Tommy Robinson was arrested, and that's what we're going to be looking at right now. All right. I also want to note before we look at it, you can go to certain things like down, down here at the bottom, Birmingham Live. Right? If you want to see that very same clip, you can go there. Uh, guess what? No, you can't go there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to have to get out of there because, no, you can't. See, the thing is, if you're from out of Birmingham, or if you're out of anywhere out of England, I've already looked into it. You can't say not a mumbling word, even about Tommy being arrested. And so we've come across this absurd situation. I'm about to show you just how absurd it is, alive and in living color, when I find a good, let's see, a good film clip. What was it? It said the moment he was arrested, moment he was arrested. Now, this is from The Sun which is a publication from out of America, so it's not yet illegal for us to even share the knowledge. First of all, like I said, it's, it's, the situation is already absurd. Had you heard nothing about it before we just talked about it right now, the situation already seems pretty absurd, that it's getting out of hand and, and it's ridiculous. But now take it to the, let's take it to the point where people in that country cannot even announce that it has happened, all right, uh, because it's illegal. <laughs> don't you even, not a mumbling word, dude, don't even whisper it. Don't let us catch you, like, talking uh, about it in the privacy of your own home or nothing like that. Just don't even, don't you ever even, t don't let us catch you thinking about the word, thinking about the name Tommy Robinson. That's literally what's taking place in England. Right, from an outsider's uh, vantage point, that looks sincerely nightmarish. Right? You can't, you, you can't do what? You can't mention that something happened uh, because it will get erased, just like it did on all sort of English uh, publications that I was looking at earlier. But let's go ahead and check this out. Because, mind you, we've already discussed stuff that definitely legitimately took us to the Twilight Zone. We've already done it. Okay? It's illegal to even mention it if you're from the UK. All right, that's how absurd it is. But I want to see the exact moment with you. It, you know, maybe it's your first time seeing it. Maybe you've already seen it. But I want to share this moment with you of Tommy Robinson getting arrested. All right, and know what he's getting arrested for real quick. Let's see if we can't play this video. Let's just watch it. Let's take it in. It's already Twilight Zone absurd. Uh, let's see it get e even more absurd.
I can get it to not play this dang video. See them to go back. They always like to play videos on you after the fact. It's like, I don't want to see your other videos. Uh, and it messes up my broadcast. But uh, here, you just saw exactly. And I wanted to share that with you. Because even before we shared that video, what we were talking about was over the top nutballs. Right? But now that you've seen that video, uh, I'm sure, just like myself, your <laughs> your head is boggled with all sort of questions. It's absolutely boggled, right? Um, some of those questions might be, uh, how in the world? What what was he being charged with? First of all, it was kind of whispered to him, all right? <laughs> they kind of whisper what it is he's being charged with. It, it wasn't the the breach of peace. It wasn't a breach of peace that they were charging him with. Uh, if you listen closely to the guy whispering and mumbling to him, it was suspicion of breaching the peace. All right? I'll pay y'all all sort of money. I'll pay y'all my whole next check if you can tell me what that even means. What, <laughs> what, is it, what does it mean? First of all, number one. Number two, of course it's not breaching the peace because if it was breaching the peace, dude, I've never seen someone so eloquent, basically. I've, ne I've never seen someone so peaceful and just kind of like in controlled fashion. Like, I've never seen someone so nice and dressed up and calmly whispering to people, breaching the peace. I've never seen it done like that. Everybody, everybody in, in the camera shot was completely and utterly, like, calm and docile. <laughs> so, of course, you couldn't charge them with breaching the peace because that's quite visibly not happening. So instead, you charge them with suspicion of breaching the peace. <laughs> oh, man, you charge them with suspicion of breaching the peace. Something that, I mean, you, like, threw 13 months out there somehow. Uh, if he's in prison, now, he, now he's going to jail uh, for suspicion of breaching the peace. And he asked you, hey, he's like, dude, what does that even mean? <laughs> and nobody could tell him what it means, because uh, how would you know what that even means? But it means you go to jail now. All right? And I want to dwell upon that a little bit, because that, I think that is the official charge. Suspicion of breaching the peace. It's the official charge. And I want to make note, uh, this all stemmed from a pedophile ring, a grooming ring, if you will. Um, and it's funny, it's kind of, I find it funny how that in and of itself did not breach the peace. You want to think about that for a second. Like a grooming, a pedophile grooming ring going on in your town does not breach the peace. That in and of itself didn't breach the peace. But however, when Tommy Robinson comes to report on it, in a, in a nice shirt and a blazer, talking with an English accent sounding proper as I don't know what, 
when he comes through and simply reports on it that well that's not a breach of peace but it, he's suspicious of breach of, <laughs> he's, he's suspicious of breach of the breach in the peace i've never seen someone get so calmly arrested and while looking so just debonair all right it's amazing so the thing is with that all being established we've hit twilight zone on many different levels and that is really really going on uh from a vantage point of here over here in texas the uk god bless all y'all there's a lot of good people come from the uk y'all are under chaos y'all are under <laughs> y'all are under some laws that are completely backwards and nutballs they're all messed up and they're not looking out for your well-being, all right? Maybe maybe we're wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about it. Maybe I'll feel a different way. And I would love to hear your comments. And I'll see your comments down there. Um, we really need to know. It does seem like lawlessness. It does seem like this has gone, gone way past. This is 1984 plus some is what it seems like, all right? All that being said, you know, I'm the type of person, if you haven't already noticed, you might have already noticed, uh, what do they call it when you put things off? Uh, I forget that word, but y'all know exactly what word I'm talking about. I put things off a lot of the times. All right, and you might really understand that, you know, uh, I get carried away, I get tunnel vision and stuff, and I put everything else off, all right? So with that being said, you know, with this channel, I've been putting off expansion. I've been putting off, you know, uh, loading up videos on the on the other channels and stuff, and I need to do that. I need to get the word out and stuff like that. Not even just me personally, individually. All right, it's, and nothing, nothing about this is about me necessarily, but I need. I already recognize, especially today, that there's all sort of effort that could be poured into what we're doing here. All sort of more effort, and it has to be done because here's the thing. Uh, the precedents are being set, you know, uh, the, the momentum is being built up to the point is civil, a civil war of ideas is already well underway. All right. It's already well underway. And at this point, you got certain places like the UK in which, dude, it's basically, uh, it's, ba it's basically illegal to report against rape. All right. Basically, that's what it is. Don't you report against rape, you're going to get snatched up. Your, your whole family's going to get threatened, might get murdered in prison and stuff. Don't you talk out against rape. And, and literally, that's what it's gotten to. And some places that are a lot better off, there's some places that are even worse off. Over there in South Africa, you know, uh, it's, the situation ain't getting better from what I've been hearing. It's just been sliding down into worse and worse. What that's causing is kind of a civil war of, of ideas in each and every country. In each and every sovereign nation in which, you know, people are really struggling against what you might call communism, what you might call Marxism, what you might call extreme total dominance and violence over us. You know, people are uh, rising up against it. Uh, they really are. They're being forced to at this point. Because the thing is, this machine is eating too many of us. You know, it's eating our lunch basically in front of us. This machine in which people have learned to rely on as far as trusting in governments and this and that and hoping everything works out good. It's not, it's getting to the point where, you know, people can no longer afford to sit back and watch. All right. People literally are getting snatched up for speaking out against rape, talking about they, they breached the peace, that they suspected a breach in the peace. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, raping all sort of little kids, that's not breaching the peace. That's the point that we've gotten at, at certain places. And so there really is no turning back from here, all right? In the end, you either put in 100% or, or you don't. And I got to say, I haven't been putting in 100%. But at this point, I really can't afford to sit back because I'm going to be the next, the exact next person snatched up and, and for talking out against rape because I don't like rape. I, I feel like that that's a negative aspect and that we might want to reduce that. Me and Tommy Robinson both feel like, you know what, these rapes, uh, that's just unnecessary. All right, so I want to be the next one snatched up and thrown in the back of a paddy wagon, literally. All right, um, if I don't really do something right now, right? So that's why I acknowledge that I really should do something right now that I really can't afford not to. 
And what we're going to get together here on this channel is going to be very similar to the networks that are being formed on other channels, right? And then that is something of a, I mean, it's all ideas. We're battling with ideas. We'd rather talk about things. We'd rather debate people. We'd rather uh, come to an understanding with people as regards to how justice should work around here. But it's really not working out in that regard. All right. So what we had to do is branch off, basically create networks of people who know each other, who know other people, who know other people, and get all interconnected, basically. And a financial flow is going to have to flow through these canals in order for us to fund, basically, our own freedom. Pretty much we're going to have to fund our own freedom at this point, because simply put, if we don't put those finances in the game, and our attention and our prayers we don't pour that up in the game uh they're going for broke right now they're really snatching people up off uh, off the streets they're snatching people up off the streets such as the tommy robinson place them in a paddy wagon all, all over nothing over nothing and you get and you gotta ask yourself why i mean the most dastardly of reasons they're covering up for what some sort of grooming gang or something like that? Is that what they're covering up for? Are they doing it right in front of our faces? Like we're not gonna we're not gonna notice. The Tommy just so happens to be talking about the wrong things, huh? Alright. It, it is time for a change, huh? Alright. That's what we're gonna be up to. And in order for that to be accomplished here. And this particular network of people, and it's a lot of contributors. I talk to a lot of people in my real life and in uh, the internet life uh, about changes that we need to see. I think we all agree that rape needs to be minimalized. I think we all agree about that. All right? And the fact is, uh, the government, certain governments are tripping. All right? And it's, you know what? Uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Really ain't nobody got time for that. Developing networks and uh, the networks will expand out to other networks of people who just want to say what is on their mind. All right? That's literally all this comes down to saying what you want to say because that is quite, quite literally illegal in the UK right now and in many other places, and it's a disease and a cancer that's just spreading. All right? Need to get a little bit militant about it. I'm not endorsing violence of any sort. What I'm saying is we're creating a, a platoon right here, man. What we gotta understand is we're creating a platoon at this point to battle against not only people who are quite simply sabotaging the hell out of society, and they're sincerely doing it, it's clear that they're doing it, not only that, but to battle our own internal demons, uh, to kind of relieve our own anxiety, you know, to kind of feel complete, uh, you know, just being ourselves, man, being totally comfortable in ourselves, uh, you know what I'm saying, and being children of God, man, I know a lot of people wouldn't like to hear it, but the thing is, it is a battle between ideologies, all right, some people think that, oh, you know what, he, he Tommy Robinson was briefed in the peace, there are people out there, God bless these people. <laughs> Out there, they think, well, Tommy Robinson breached the peace, so uh, that's against the law. Of course, he should be arrested for 13 months. All right. They have absolutely no problem with the government in the UK and many other places absolutely dragging their feet when it comes to uh, pedophilia ring, uh, accusations. Absolutely dragging their feet. I don't have no problem with that. Why? Because it's not policy to think about that. All right? These people, these people, unfortunately, they'll follow a, you know, policy all the way until they're getting raped, until they're literally getting raped. And then they might look in the policy book and see if, you know, maybe that's all right. Maybe that's acceptable. All right? And on the other end, there's people, and we're tired of it, to the point where, shoot, man, Right now, uh, it's either you go all in or you go home, I guess, at this point. And I think we got something going here, you guys. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of contributors in and around this community. And, um, you know, I think that we can make a great deal of difference. 
You know what I'm saying? All through, uh, all through peaceful means and stuff like that, violence wouldn't be necessary at all. But we do have to share ideas. And we're going to have to be open-minded. All right, we're going to have to be very vigilant. Appreciate all y'all from all over the world and stuff, man. Uh, holler back at me in the comments. I look to get some of y'all on some live streams pretty soon. I'm really going to start dedicating myself to getting some technology, all right, and making it to where uh, we can share information at a much faster rate, all right. That's going down very, very soon. It's, uh, it's unaffordable that we don't. So I'll holler at y'all later. It's May the 26th or the 27th, one of those. 2018.